A new tradition started today in Altoona celebrating the 4th of July in the most Iowa way imaginable. Local 5's Nora J.S. Reichart takes us to the Cornival. Parades are a staple of the 4th of July, but in Altoona, the annual event had a new addition this year as city officials kicked off the first ever Cornival by unveiling a crop of statues dedicated to Iowa's signature harvest. I just thought it was a great way to honor Altoona and also a great way to like uh, grow my art portfolio and try a new medium. There's 20 of the statues in total, each one measuring six feet high, all designed by local artists. Faith Terrell is one of them. It's actually inspired a little bit by Van Gogh. You can see the Starry Night influence and then obviously Fields of Gold. I've lived in Iowa my whole life and I absolutely love a golden field. So I wanted to incorporate that in my design. So why celebrate corn on the 4th of July exactly? It's to mark the 100th anniversary of the first acre of commercial hybrid seed corn being grown on a farm right here in Altoona. Somebody might not necessarily think agriculture when they hear a suburb of Des Moines, but we know that agriculture is so important to the state. And when we heard that about this fun fact, we just had to run with it, had to celebrate um, the important milestone. After the carnival wraps up, the statues will be put on display around Altoona for all to see. Artists said that getting to share their handiwork for their local community to see is a reward that's hard to beat. Art is not a solo practice. It's something that you get to enjoy with others. It's supposed to be a gift. So getting to experience it with people is exciting. In Altoona, this is Nora J.S. Reichart for Local 5 News. Back to you, Stephanie. And those corn statues will be at the Spring Creek Sports Complex later this month when cyclists come through for rag bribe.